Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, is we're going to learn about how to sell on Amazon from Philippines. So if you're not familiar with Amazon, so this is actually their website. It is a huge online store that has started as a bookstore, but this now sells almost everything you can think of. So as you can see in here, we have here some makeups, some of the uh, clothes, or anything that you could sell. So this means that if you want to sell something, there is a good chance someone on Amazon wants to buy it. So Amazon also helps sellers with shipping, some sellers pack and send their stuff, while others let Amazon do it. So this makes it easy for different kinds of businesses and people trust Amazon. So when they see something for sale there, they're more likely to buy it. So that is why many sellers choose Amazon to reach lots of customers and make their business grow. And for us to be able to get started on to selling on Amazon, here are the step-by-step -step guide for you on to how to do that. So first things first in here, so you need to do some research and planning. So as you can see, you could go and head onto Amazon's website for that and try to look for something that has been selling a lot lately. So you need to identify onto what products that you want to sell and understand the market demand. So as you can see in here, there are different categories that they offer onto their website. You could see beauty or just like gifts or looks or beauty loafers statement prints or many more so you could see what are the exciting deals that has been offered lately and many more so there are personal cares in here shoes gifts for babies electronics or accessories or you could go ahead and try to search or use different website to see what are trending so you could take a look onto social media or anything like that so that you would know and understand the market demand lately so you could use different tools so one tool example for this or jungle scout or helium so that it could analyze some trends and some profitable niche so you'll just have to go ahead and try to think of a product in mind create a business plan for that that outlines your strategy budgets and goals so that you could go ahead and figure out what you want to sell onto amazon now right after once you have already decided on to what to sell, the next step for that one is creating an Amazon seller account. So I have here a guide for you on how to do that to create an Amazon seller account. So this is a guide for beginners on to selling onto Amazon. So as you can see in here, you need to get ready to sell. So they offer two selling plans so that you could choose the right package of tools and services for the right price. So, we have here the individual and the professional for that. So we could try to go ahead and try to um, see this onto Philippines view since this one is actually international. So, so as you can see in here, Amazon Global Selling is offering a six month promotion on the professional selling plan to sellers that are located in Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Taiwan, and Korea who register to sell on Amazon.com for the first time. So you'll just pay a total of $1 for the first six month subscription. And then right after for the next five months, you'll have to um, pay for free for that. So instead of paying standard fee of $39.99 per month for the professional selling plan, then you could just complete your registration by April 3 for that one. So as you can see in here, going back right after you've choose a plan that you want to go ahead and do so, the next step is to create a seller center account. So after choosing your selling plan, you'll just need to register with Amazon, select your print plan, and then create a seller central account. So for this one, you can create your account using the email address associated with your Amazon customer account, or you can create it using a separate business email address. So before you create that, here are the things that you need to make sure that you have the following. So you need to have a bank account or a routing number, international chargeable credit card, government issued ID, tax information, and a phone number. And you'll just have to click on to create your Amazon seller account to proceed. So right after you click onto that, so this is what it looks like. Amazon seller center, and then you'll just have to go ahead and click on to create your Amazon account if you don't have one yet. So to finish this off, you'll just have to state in here your name, then right after add in your email, the password, and password must be at least six characters, and then re-enter it again and click on to next. So just make sure that by creating an account, you agree already to the Amazon's conditions of use and the privacy notice for that one. So right after you've created an account, just simply log in onto your seller account. Now right after, you need to configure your seller central account. 
So yeah, once you have completed the registration, you'll have access already to your seller central account. So you could think of it as your help for selling in the Amazon store. So you can use it to list and price product, manage inventory, and fulfill customer orders. So there are different tools in there that you could use to create promotions, coupons, track payments and expenses, and many more. And before you start selling, you'll want to configure your seller central account for your business. So make sure you review and confirm or adjust the following as needed, your public seller profile, payment and business information, shipping and tax information, notification preferences, login settings, and user permission. So as you can see, this is the Amazon Seller Central. You could go ahead and try to search this onto your local browser. And to start selling with this, you'll just have to sign up. And if you have signed up already, just simply click onto the login button. Now, as you can see, if you're new like me, here are what to expect onto Amazon Seller Central. So you need to provide your information and documents since they need to collect relevant personal and business information to comply with identification and verification measures. So they need to also verify your submission and you may be asked to meet with an Amazon associate to verify your submission and you need to get verified before to start selling. So after they receive all of the information that are required, then you'll be verified as soon as possible and you'll be notified by that. And just like what we mentioned earlier, here are what you need a valid government issued ID recent bank account chargeable credit or debit card and a mobile phone now right after you need also to choose your business location and since we are actually um, set into Philippines you'll have to click on the Philippines for that and then right after click on to begin right after it will go ahead and ask you to choose a business type so you could go ahead and try to click onto individual if you're just doing it for yourself or there are many more options for that and then right after you'll just have to go ahead and try to fill out the details and then click on to agree and continue now right after just follow the steps on to completing your information, the billing, store, and the verification. So type in your primary contact person information in here, like your first name, country of citizenship, residential address, and many more. And just click on to next until you go ahead and finish filling up all of the details in here until you are already verified. Now, once everything has been set up, it's now time to list a product onto Amazon. So here is a step-by-step -step guide for you onto how to do that. And since we mentioned onto the first part, onto thinking of something that you want to go ahead or researching or planning onto what products to sell, right after you should have a clear mind already onto what to sell onto Amazon as of this part. So as you can see in here, for you to be able to um, list your product in here, for you to be able to do that, you'll just need to head onto your seller central account. And then right there, you should be able to find this inventory in here. So once you see this inventory, click on to add a product. So right after clicking onto that, you should be able to see in the search bar under find your products in Amazon's catalog, which is find your product by name or ID to add products in bulk or use bulk upload. So there are some steps in here on to how to do that. You could choose if you're adding a product not sold in Amazon or uploading a file to add multiple products. Or if you want to learn how to list products, there is also a step-by-step -step guide for you on to how to do that. Now, then choose your product condition and click on sell this product. So right after, create your offer, add your selling price in there, product condition, fulfillment channel, and add an SKU or your own product identifier. So this is what it looks like. So contribution SKU, standard price, offering condition type, and fulfillment channel. And then right after, you're just going to go ahead and click on to save and finish. And once your product is already listed for the final step for that one is you'll just need to promote your products. So you could utilize Amazon's advertising tools like sponsored products and brand registry to promote your products. So these will help you increase your product visibility and drive more sales. So keep an eye on your advertising performance and make adjustments as needed. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to sell on Amazon from the Philippines. Remember, success on Amazon takes time and effort, so stay consistent and keep learning. And if you think this tutorial has been helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you on to your next video.